learning management system comes out of a more general software system called like a content management system. And it's a way to use information systems, information technology to manage the different roles of, of information. So a typical learning management system would have both content and people, users, who play different roles. And then the content would be things like assignments, instructional materials, maybe video, maybe short quizzes. And it facilitates interaction between the learners and the instructors in some way. I think at least in higher education, it's kind of the standard that every course has some learning management system to go along with it. That might be simply a place where students can download the syllabus or upload files for the instructor to look at, or uh, it might be more involved with some kind of hybrid classes where they meet in person, but they also have online discussions or some other type of online portion of their work. Not every class traditionally is structured the same way, and not every online learning experience then needs to be structured the same way. Uh, the same way that we might have lectures and labs and writing workshops and studio courses. When we take this online, we want to be able to have a diversity of learning experiences. We also need to think about like what new, completely new experiences we could have online. We're not just porting like a physical experience and try to replicate it in an online space. The information that's on there doesn't die at the end of the class. And this will be a resource for the students in the course next semester and the semester after that and once they graduate and when they post something there they can go back to check out the code example that they illustrated or the resources that are on there and it kind of grows and it grows with them and it grows with the students as they learn so it's not it doesn't just end at the end of the class it kind of helps to, to spread out the classroom learning beyond that into other areas of their life and as, as they extend outside of the university I'm excited about the new Moodle. I think the interface upgrades are significant and will make it easier. I think that students will appreciate it because it has a much better mobile interface and a lot of students access it through mobile. And that'll help, especially with the hybrid and fully online courses where you want students to check in several times a day with the course website instead of just once a week or twice a week. So if they can do it quickly from their phone or from another mobile device, that'll just uh, support that type of learning that much more.